Hello, fun friends. It's your favorite 4-H agent, Jonette, with a little message for what you can do while you are being under quarantine. So I figured I would give you a little example of what it's like being a 4-H agent, being under quarantine, because all I do is think of you. So, parents, are you under stress? Yesterday, I posted up some things with soda cans. No one guessed what I was working on. But if your children stuck at home have you going through the grocery store blues? Well, let me give you a little something that you can do. So, follow me. Got my tablet in my hand. I'm going outside, leaving my kitchen because I have something very special that I have been working on and I definitely want to share it with you. Let me turn my radio down. So in case you were wondering, what in the world was a crazy 4-H agent working on yesterday? Let me show you. Ta-da! Do you see? I created for our future big project, a demonstration garden. Check out the beverage. Ooh, I can hardly see myself. Maybe I need to clean off my... Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh. There we go. Is that better? I created a beverage slash snack bar, but no, it's not soda. It's actually beers. So as you see, it is all filled with soil, recycling, upcycling, and repurposing all kinds of different things that I have gathered from my own kitchen, as well as from some of you. Get the presentation together here. There we go. So you guys can see how many beverages you have been drinking. But you may be wondering, well, you've got all the plastic things. What did you do with the tops? I am glad you asked. As a matter of fact, I saved the tops. As you see here, they just lift up. They are in cups of water. So what I am actually going to do is use these little cups to plant my microgreens. These microgreens you can harvest in two to five days because they germinate and they're not meant to be fully grown. They're microgreens. Super nutritious and great for salads and side dishes, garnishments, and things of that nature. So you can get in all the nutrients of your greens without actually having consumed the greens. So here's the lid off of the teddy bear cookie jar that is actually being a water catch tray here from my wonderful bottle tops. You poke holes in the lid like I showed you in the other video, which allows them to drain, and they've already been seeded. Is that not a cool project? So, for you second and third grade parents, listen, this is all about plant life cycle. This is also about soil. You can sit down and, and take the soil and lay it out and pull out all of the organic matter, pull out anything that is not organic, and do a soil sample from all around your yard to see what is actually in your soil. Have your kids go outside, see how many worms they can find, how many decomposers they can find, see how many pollinators they can spot if pollinators are actually out in your area. Ask them, what does a plant need to grow? And then ask them to plant some seeds, give it what it needs, and then track every day going over your dates and times and calculations how many days it took before they actually saw something. Have them draw a picture of what the plant looked like as it emerged until it matured. So this is something you can do at home. Even though I'm not there with your children at school, I miss school. This 4-H agent loves going to school. Um, and see what happens. This big ginormous can, I'm going to grow a tomato plant in. That's right. So I can actually grow a salad garden with lettuce, tomatoes, I can grow peppers, I can grow greens. If I wanted to do some spinach, I can do spinach. Lettuce, I can do lettuce. If I wanted to plant my herbs, which I will, I'll show you my, my uh, personal herbs here. As you can see, these are my chives, which they sprouted really early. Um, this was where my cilantro grew last year, but uh, yeah, the winter kind of killed it. But I also did something else that's really, really cool. So. Let me walk you to where that is. Gonna turn around here. Everybody say hello to Mittens. Say hi, Mittens. Oh, Mittens is on camera now. She won't meow. So as you see, hanging from the tree here is a prototype. So I did this to see how much the wind would affect it. You see it's a little blurry. So these are just bottles. Plastic bottles that I have repurposed. So these are going to be plant fungus. So I haven't decided if I'm going to actually put some spinach in there or some herbs in there. I put some really pretty flowers 
Lance, what are you doing? Let me... And it's hanging from the tree because I had nowhere else to hang it. But you could do this too with some nice, pretty viney plants and oregano. But if your back aches and you hate bending over and hate dealing with weeds, this is a great way to garden without having to do any of that. And you don't even have to bend over because whenever you want to harvest stuff, all you have to do is come to the woods. Mittens want some love. <laughs> Alrighty. So I hope you all have been having fun on your quarantine. In spite of the situation and in spite of things that are going on, you can still do some hands-on learning things at home, help your parents start to grow and get over their grocery store blues because you're probably eating them out of house and home. So if you would like to know more about how you can do any of the things that I've showed you, then all you have to do is contact me. You can message me on Facebook. You can send me an email. You probably already have my cell phone number. Um, but either way, just give me a holler and I don't mind walking you through the steps. So one more time, our snack slash beverage planting bar and this was really 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 cool I am so in love with it I really want to build one for myself now <laughs> I really really do so this is your favorite 4-H agent Joe Ned saying I miss all my school kids but you all find some neat planters and then leave me some messages showing me what you worked on at home that still addresses the yes or wells and helps relieve your parents' grocery store blues. All right, you guys have fun under quarantine. I will post up again later. <laughs> Favorite 4-H agent saying bye-bye. Stay healthy.